I'm at this corner of the table because this box is pretty big and I'm going to do an unboxing video for Form Labs Form 3 Plus. I know Form 4 appeared and I'm wearing the t-shirt of Form 4 as you guys can see. And this is Form 3 Plus. Maybe in the future we will also unbox Form 4. However, I have this small stuff which I'm going to show is the miniature of Form 4 which is pretty cool. I'm gonna put it here and let's unbox the Form 3 Plus. From the top of the box, I have the starting guide manual and the power cord. Yeah. Yeah. This is the box inside the box. And <laughs> now we are going to take this baby off too. I think I can do it. My fingers are under. I think I should put a camera to ceiling to give you guys a top down view. What do you think? Comment down below if you are watching this part. Well, welcome home, baby. We are gonna do so cool projects with you. But you are not as fast as home for so I don't know. Teasing the printer. Yes. So beautiful. So lovely. Just look at it. It's like I love this color. I, I love the design of this machine too. I've been using Form Labs machines since Form 2 actually. I use Form 2, Form 3 plus. Now I have one in home. And this is how the bucket opens. Actually, there is something inside that we need to release too. Uh, yeah, let me give you guys a closer look. And here we are at the opening of the machine. I'm gonna open this one. There are two things inside. Now I'm releasing these two screws. Yeah, make sure to remove the things from inside properly. And I'm going to roll these together to not lose them and put them inside my box that I unboxed because I'm gonna keep that box just in case. This is the power cable we had, but I'm not going to start the printer. Yet. I'm just gonna connect it. That's it. And yes, at the back of the printer, it says Follow the instructions, which we will do. The other thing that I will never do is to remove this screen protector because everything is going to be resin when I'm working with it. The last thing that I want to do is to resin my screen, which I will not like to do. Okay, quick start guide. Let's take a look inside really quick. Safety guide. Let's put this one aside. We already did this removal, perfect. Done, done. Power on, second step, setting up, third step. And leveling this, raising tank, build from raising cartridge. Perfect. I know these. Hey. <laughs> what I have here is leveling feet. So we are going to use these to level our machine. And this is the USB cable to connect it via uh, computer. But I will be using my Wi-Fi to do the upload. So I'm not going to use this USB cable. And we have an Allen wrench. I don't know if you will ever need it. And let's continue with our unboxing stuff. Because we need to now unbox the build plate and the cartridge. Yes, the build plate and cartridge one and cartridge two. So this is a resin cartridge. Let's open this one up. It is a color base, so we can color these. <laughs> this is another color base resin. And here is the build plate, build platform too, which is really nice because this saves your time. Why, why is this so important? It's because it's a flex. Look at it. 
So cool. Put this one to the side as well. Because I have more to unbox. Another resin. This is a special one for a special episode coming on my channel. So don't forget to check it out. But this is Silicon 40A. It's going to be a soft material printing episode. Okay, I have coloring kits. So this will help me to color stuff to white, black, and cyan color. And another cyan color. And I have another black. And I have yellow. And I have white. And I have another yellow. And a couple of mag magentas. Magentas. Nice. So there's going to be lots of colors coming in. Here is my color book, color kit receipt book. We are gonna check it out and it allows us to and it tells us to how much milliliter i need to combine from each to achieve different colors but i'm definitely gonna do lime so stay tuned the other cartridge that i think i have been waiting for is clear resin because i want to do some molds and i need clear resin for that and yes this is the clear resin perfect yeah another clear resin cool is it finished yet no i have a couple more things to unbox as well the next big thing i'm going to unbox is the resin tank to put inside my machine and uh, and this table is so crowded so we are gonna do it downstairs okay this is the resin tank I hope my head is not uh, in the way of you guys. Seems like not. Come on, come on. This is different than I expected. <laughs> uh, but sure. Why not? And this is the resin tank um, that we will put inside our machine. And this is how you store the resins in. There was like a more plastic box that was holding this. That's why I got a little bit confused. But it seems like they turned it to cardboard box to put it in. So this is the thing. Okay, we are going to assemble this together as well on the table after I clean it out a little bit. Guess what? I have two more of these. So as you guys can guess, one of them is going to be clear resin. One of them is going to be for color kit. And the last one is going to be for silicone 40A. And we are going to play with these and see the results. Second, what I'm going to do now is to put the build plate in. And this is the build plate. We are going to put it in to its holder. Very simple with a lever. And just put it in, plug it in. Perfect. Good boy. Next up is I'm going to put one of the clear resins in. Because why not? Open it up. This is clear resin. So there's a seal here that I'm going to remove the seal, uh, the orange band. And then there's a bottom seal, which I'm going to remove too. This is this another uh, part that hold. that's a kind of soft wall that machine will puncture when we put it in. So I'm going to put it in, plugged in, and I'm going to press on it. If something says press on it, so that it is available to drip the resin when it comes to dripping time. I'm gonna put this back to my workshop 
so that we have more space on this table to continue with the rest of the video. Next big thing that I'm going to focus on is this tank. So this is the tank. We are gonna take this one off when we are ready to plug it into the machine. But now I'm going to remove this label. And here is the mixer that we are going to plug it in there. There's only one orientation you can plug it in, which is the magnet orientation. So these are the magnets. So we're gonna put it like this and push it all the way back until it clicks in. And that's it. Tank is ready to be plugged into the machine. So I plugged in the machine now. It will start operating and lighting up. Yes. Now it will guide us through the screen and everything. So it's us going for the uh, congratulations. It's telling us congratulations on your new printer. I'm going to click begin with the setup. Uh, it asks me if I remove the LPU latch, which I did. I'm going to click on it next. And it wants me to select the region for the Wi Fi settings. So I'm in the United States. Um, Next, now it's scanning for my Wi-Fi and I click my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to put my password. Let's see if it's correct. Yes, I'm going to blur this part, obviously. Now it's connected to my Wi-Fi and I'm clicking next. Now this is a leveling part. These are the leveling feet we are going to use and what it wants us to put is basically you will plug this one into the feet of the form labs from the bottom and you will feel click when it's fully engaged and then we will turn it left and right to elevate it a machine will guide us uh, right now it shows us this big red dot it needs to go inside of it so i'm going to start elevating the front right so the thing is getting close inside the circle. Now I'm gonna change the front left too with other pad. I'm gonna lower this. Okay, I'm satisfied with that, it's for you. I don't need to be perfectionist because I'm going to relocate the machine anyways. Um, let's click next to begin the tank installation, which I took it off from the system and i placed the mixer already now we are going to plug it in and click next click next let's open it up and here it is uh, putting it in and doesn't feel it oh. okay now it's plugged in yes inserted we received the notification i'm clicking next again i already installed the build platform and locked the arm it is true that i should put the build platform later than the tank but i did it the opposite way yeah they are all plugged in cartridge is also installed i didn't shake the cartridge we need to shake the cartridge don't forget to shake the cartridge I will shake it in a minute and I remove the seals, put it in, open the cap, cartridge is installed and dashboard. I'm going to enable dashboard. Now I'm going to do this uh, in my setup online and uh, continue on here. Actually, let's quickly do that. Okay, now I did it uh, and the name of my printer is Glossy Bourbot. Uh, interesting name. Let's click next and setup is complete. Now we are ready to print. I will let printer initialize at this point. Build platform inserted. Yes, it is ready. Yep, our printer is set and ready to print its next job. Let's do a quick test print actually, right? Do we have any test prints in here? No, we don't. Hum. <clears throat> Let's find a test print and I will send it in. One important thing here to do is to do a firmware update before I send the print because it says so. Okay, I need to connect it to my computer seems like because when I come to the settings system and here I go to the firmware update, 
it asks you to do this and it uh, seems like a very old firmware so i need to update it then i need to use that cable that i put inside the box yes i just connected it to my computer yes update firmware actually i can show this part basically open the preform sliced an object which i will show in another video how to do that and i clicked on it it automatically saw the firmware update part so what i'm going to do is select the version which is the latest version i'm going to click update and it's downloading uploading and installing those are the steps seems like we are just gonna wait in here this to be done and that's it download is done upload is almost done not almost it's one person what am i saying hey okay, now it is finished i'm gonna click finish here um this is a slice file that we are going to print but when we go back to the machine it's waiting for us to click install so i'm gonna click install here and it will start the firmware update on the machine okay this is going to take some time too and we will be back once it's done okay, we are back again and i'm clicking yes it's ready um let's close this one update is done slay and if we go back to the computer print is ready in here it's a trophy a small test print with Voronoi cycle with Voronoi this style so i'm just gonna click upload print and, and click print now it's gonna generate files and send it in and we will see the machine working and it's gonna take one hour and 45 minutes oh one hour and 20 minutes and then i will be able to show you guys the first print after this unboxing and setup video and we will end the video now we are at the step where the machine is filling the tank in this is going to take some time i want to show you guys how the resin filling is ongoing it squeezes the cartridge on the top and it fills like this and this is how the resin is falling down to the tank right now cartridge filling has stopped yeah these reflections are unfortunately stained i hope it doesn't bother you guys much now the print has started it's gonna take one hour and 20 minutes and 396 layers and i will continue the video once this is done okay now the print is finished let's give it a thumbs up and take it off now i got my gloves so that i can touch it and here is my printed cup take a look at it it's beautiful now i'm gonna pop it off Ah, dropped it put this one back and grab the dropped uh, cup this is the end of my form labs form 3 unboxing and setting up and first print video i hope you guys liked it a couple seconds ago i showed the first print but i did not show you the post processing so next video we are going to unbox and set up wash and cure stations again from form labs and clean our part inside of them don't forget to check them out for 3d printing resin post processing steps see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe or follow 3D Printing Doctor, out.